I greet you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm coming to you uh, when our country is faced with a lot of challenges. You will realize that there is a lot of panic in the country because of what is happening, the COVID-19. And uh, it's not only happening in our country. You will realize that it's also happening in our churches. Now, I'm coming to you, my brothers and sisters, as a messenger, as a messenger of the Word of God. And I hope and believe that the Word that I'm going to share with you is going to encourage you, it's going to motivate you, and it's going to bless you. Uh, I'm going to share with you under the caption, Resting in the Shadow of the Almighty. Let me repeat, Resting in the Shadow of the Almighty. Uh, those who know their verses very well, they already know that once I mention something like that, I will be going to the book of Psalm chapter 91. I so much love this chapter because it really gives assurance. It really gives encouragement uh, during times such as this. And I want to thank you that, I, I want to remind you that even when we are going through challenging times, uh, but we know that we can rest in the shadow not of anybody, not of just any company, but in the shadow of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Before we dwell into the Word of God, allow me to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We are excited. We are encouraged to know that we've got the Almighty God, to know that you are on our side. And Father God, this morning, we want to thank you because you are with us. We want to thank you for your word. And Father God, as we share your word, your word is sharper than the double-edged sword. And we believe that even this time, mighty God, there's something you want us to know. And we are ready to receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me read Psalm chapter 9, 1. It reads as follows. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High, or in the NIV, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Let me just stop here for a moment. My brothers and sisters, regardless of what is happening to us, I want to remind us that during these challenging times, this is the time where you and I must dwell in the shelter. There is a shelter. I'm, I'm happy and I'm excited to tell you that uh, through everything, through it all, there is a shelter. There is a place where we can run to. And that shelter is the shelter of the Most High. Ah, I like the way, the, the, the way they put it, the Most High. He's higher than anything. He is the Almighty God. He is the Sovereign God. He is all-knowing. There is no other God who is bigger than Him. I like it in Hebrew. In Hebrew, the Almighty, they said, El Shaddai. Oh, I like this. He is God, El Shaddai. There is none greater. As I'm talking about uh, uh, God, El Shaddai, it reminds me of the song by Jacqueline Carr. You, you've got to listen to this song. It's called, You Are Bigger. Big God. Our God is bigger than the biggest big you can think of. Anything that you can think of it's not bigger than our God. Whether it's a disease, whether it's a challenge, whether it's any situation, my brothers and sisters, we serve a bigger God. And I want to say that He's all knowing, He is all sufficient. I'm telling you, I can go on and on just to say what He is. He is Shalom, He's the God of peace. When things are tough, He gives us peace. That surpasses human understanding. You will remember in the book of Philippians chapter 4, uh, starting from verse 4 going to 6, he said, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace that surpasses human understanding will guard your heart and mind. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, when we run to the shelter, this is not the time of uh, running to any other thing. This is not the time of running to your experiences. This is not the time of, of, of trying to run to any other thing. Run to God. 
You can just whisper in your heart and say, Father God, I've got no other. You, you, you are the only one. I, I, it reminds me of a vendor song. langa. My Lord, you are the only one who is my hope. Only one. There is no plan B as far as there is concerned. I, I don't understand these people who said when you pray, you must pray to the Heavenly Father, but you must at the same time say, even you who are down there, don't forget us. You, you cannot mix the two. When you pray to the Heavenly Father, let it be to the Heavenly Father alone. I want to repeat, there must not be plan B. It's God and God alone. Hallelujah. There is a shelter, my brothers and sisters, of the Most High, and will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I want to say that, Mary, when you, when you run to God, you rest. You give your th everything to Him. Cast your burdens to him for he cares for you. When somebody gives you a lift and you are having luggages or something that you are carrying, as soon as you are in the car, you put the luggage down. You don't continue to carry the luggage when you are in the car. Allow the car to carry the luggage for you. This is what is supposed to, to happen when you come to God. When you come to God, give him your everything. Rest in him. Take a deep breath and say, Father God, I did what I can, now it's you. And let me tell you, we serve a faithful God. We serve a mighty God. He is El Shaddai, as I said. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. He knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. It reminds me of Jeremiah now. Yeah. We're talking about God. Don't take advices from people who met you two weeks ago and they think they know you. Let me tell you, there is a God who knew you before you were formed. You can rely on him. You can trust in this almighty God. All right, let's move right straight along. And I will say of the Lord, this is verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. I, I want to add, he and only he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I trust. I will say of the Lord. Let me tell you, when we are going through these challenging times, say of the Lord, sing of the Lord. Remind yourself of the Lord. Remind yourself of what the Lord has done for you. When people are talking about possibilities, uh, prognosis, this and that, uh, let me tell you, you can say of the Lord. You can remind yourself. You can meditate on the word of God. You can remind yourself of the promises that the Lord has given us. You can remind yourself of Psalm chapter 103, verse, verse 1. Let me quickly read it if you don't mind. Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my innermost bring praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives our sins and heals all our diseases. How many diseases? All our diseases. You can remind yourself, you, you have got these benefits, my brothers and sisters. Because you are a child of God, you are not a nobody. You've got benefits. One of the benefits that you have, let me remind you, is that he promised to heal all your diseases. By his stripes, you were healed. You can say, you can say of the Lord. Let, let me tell you, my brothers, the reason you must say is because the devil is always whispering something. The devil is always shouting something to you. This is the time to say no to the devil. This is the time to say no to any other voice and say yes to the voice of God. It reminds me of Ezekiel. You know the story of the dry bones? He, he was commanded to say to the dry bones, prophesy to these dry bones and say to them, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, there may be some dry situations in your life. There may be some dry, complicated, ununderstandable, complicated situations in your life. Say to the situation, don't keep quiet. Say to the situation, spread the word of God. Prophesy to the situation and say, 
and, and tell those dry bones that they can live. Dry bones represent hopeless situation, spiritually dead situation, where there is no life, where, where there is no promise, where it's like, I, I, I know, it's, it's not going to happen. You can pray a prayer of saying, Lord, I'm believing you for restoration. I'm praying for renewal. Renewal of my health. Renewal of my situation. Renewal of my vitality. Don't give up. Pray. Whisper. Let me tell you, if you cannot shout, whisper. The God that we serve can hear you whisper. What you say matters, my brother. Don't keep quiet. When the devil is whispering this and that, say no. That word is powerful. When you, try, you, you find yourself thinking of wrong things that are not aligned with the word of God, say no. This can't be. Let me tell you that no that you say with conviction, by faith. Say no to the devil. Say no to anything that is not of God. Ah, it reminds me of the verse that says, let the weak say I am strong. You will remember Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Let the weak say I'm strong. When you feel weak, say I'm strong. Say I'm strong because you are trusting in God. Say I'm strong because the one who is in me is greater than the one who is in the world. First John chapter 4 verse 4. I am of God. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you that even when you're going through challenging things, you must remind yourself that you are of God. You are of God. You belong to the Almighty God. If God be for us, who can be against us? Ah, now I'm just going to flow. I feel like telling you that it's not by power. I feel like telling you that it's not by mighty. It's not by experience. It's not because of what? It's not because of your uh, 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 physique. It's because of the Spirit of God. Not by mighty, not by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 8 verse 10. We can stand up and say, because the joy of the Lord is our strength, when we don't feel strong, but we know that the joy of the Lord makes us to be strong. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to him and are safe. That's Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Proverbs 18 verse 10. When you've got nowhere to run to, the name of the Lord. You can say the name of the Lord to your situation. You can say the name of the Lord to, your, to whatever is happening in your life. To whatever you are facing. As the church, we can stand up and shout the name of the Lord. As the church, we can stand up and say no. Because our no with, by faith is stronger than any other thing. Hallelujah. I just want to remind you, mighty God, that we are strong. We are strong because of God who is in us. Let me cont continue to, 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 to go back to Psalm chapter 91. This will bless you, man. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I trust. Let me tell you, I want to remind you, my brothers and sisters, we trust in God. In God, we trust. God said he will never leave us nor forsake us. When we shout his name, when we call upon his name, his ear is not deaf that he cannot hear. Let's not be discouraged. Sometimes you will pray and you feel like nothing is happening. Let me tell you, when you feel like nothing is happening, God is busy doing something. God is putting things together. When the end product will be unveiled, you will be so surprised. And I will always say this, uh, because this is the verse that you, you, you cannot go you, you, I mean, without uh, 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 referring to it. Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. You know, our God likes it when he shows us that he's God. When you realize that human ability came to a finite, when you realize that, no, 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 we tried what we could as human beings. We tried to put this and that together, but that's when God comes 
and shows that he is God. It reminds me of a situation where you are driving and you realize this accident, I cannot avoid it. You realize that I'm just going off the hill or I'm just going to roll. But for some reason, you just find yourself controlling that car. It's not you. Probably you were hopeless. You thought, oh, we are gone. But that's when God intervenes and shows that is God. We serve the God who is big, my brothers and sisters. We serve the God who is able. We serve the God who is mighty. We serve the God who can. Say to your situation, proclaim it, shout. It reminds me of a song, I raise a hallelujah. In the midst of challenges, in the midst of the, the enemy, I raise a hallelujah. Don't wait until things are calm and everything is going smooth. When things are tough, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. When you're going through, when you're going through tough times, when you feel the pain, when you, 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 you are struggling, that's when you must whisper, you must shout. That's when you must remind yourself, call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. I remember, I remind myself of a song, what a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him, worship and adore him. What a mighty God we serve. If we, it wasn't for the Lord, my brothers and sisters, you and I would not be here. If you don't know what to do, just run to him. Run to the Lord. Go to God. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can think or imagine. This is the God that we serve. As I conclude, my brothers and sisters, I want to remind you that probably you, you, you might be knowing a brother or a sister, a family member, a church member who is struggling with this COVID-19. I just want to remind yourself, we're going to take a time and just pray for all those people who are in a way affected. And I want to, you to believe with me that we serve a big God. We serve the God who is faithful. We serve the God who said, call upon my name. We serve the God who is a strong tower. We, we serve the God who is the Alpha and Omega. And I want you to join me wherever you are. Just to pray. And if you cannot pray, just agree with me in this prayer. Because I believe that when we pray, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn away from the evil ones, I will hear them and I will heal their land. Our land needs healing. And this is what we are going to do this morning. We are going to pray and we are going to trust in the Lord because our Lord is faithful. Come, join me as I pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you as your dear children. We want to thank you, mighty God. We put all our trust, all our hope. We have faith in you, Lord. There is no other God where we can tend to. We want to thank you, mighty God. You said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. You are the Almighty. You are the El Shaddai. You are the Prince of Peace. Even this morning, mighty God, we pray for our beloved we pray for our brothers and sisters uh, who are suffering, mighty God. Uh, our nation is crying because of what is happening. The numbers are going up, we can see. But Father God, we want to thank you. You and you alone, mighty God, uh, is able to do, to reduce the numbers, is able to cure us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we proclaim healing. We, we proclaim, mighty God, strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, to all the people who are in the hospitals, some are at their homes, we say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, mighty God. You are able, you can, you will, in Jesus' precious and mighty name. We want to thank you. Oh, Raseka, in Jesus' precious and mighty name, we thank you, mighty God. We pray, Father God, for those people who are struggling. We pray, Father God, for those people who are struggling financially because they are not sure about their uh, prospect of employment. In Jesus' precious name, we take this time, mighty God. We put them before you. You care for us. You are the father to the fatherless. We want to thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. 
Thank you very much. May God richly bless you till we meet again. This was Pastor Peter from Agape Christian Center. God bless you.